everybody. We have not vlogged today. We did go out and about, and I just forgot to vlog. <laughs> we didn't really do much though. We went to the store. Um, we went to the cider mill, the local cider mill, that finally opened last weekend. And oh, my Atlanta. Mm. So glad we did. You have to check out the goodies we got. Look at this spread. Mmm. Oh, I just opened it and they smell so good. I might have to have one in a few minutes. But we got the donuts. We did not get apple cider today. Um, because we don't, we need to like one or two cups, like if we go out and do stuff like at fall events or something, but we don't usually have a gallon here or anything because we forget about it and then it gets like fermented. So we just don't, and they didn't have the little, they usually have like little pumpkin or little apple shaped things for kids that I grab one of and I'm, I'm good for a while. So we just got the donuts and they smell amazing and I'm so happy. And I was thinking on the way there that it's crazy to think that by the time that that place closes, the cider mill, it closes at the end of November, we will have an almost one month old baby or a couple week old baby. It's just crazy to think that in a short, short amount of time we're going to have a baby. And like right now, if you look around our house, definitely no signs of sorry if that was so quick but <laughs> definitely no signs of a baby except if you go in her bedroom but in a short few weeks there will be one here we're gonna actually be moving this coffee table I think out into the like foyer where you walk in um, just for a while because I'm gonna probably have her swing out here and her rock and play out here during the day um, and I'll probably just bring a little stool out here to set drinks and stuff on. But Saturday, six days from now, is her baby shower. And so next week it's probably going to be like an explosion of, of baby things in here. And it'll definitely feel way more real that like we're bringing a baby home soon. Um, I'm so excited to see all the things that she gets and all the love that people show her. It's going to be a great it's gonna be, I'm so excited for her baby shower. It's gonna be a really fun party to celebrate her and kind of our last big shindig before she gets here. And then the following weekend, I think I've mentioned a few times, my mom and I will be going to the outlet malls in Grove City um, to get any last minute baby things. And I'm probably, they have a destination maternity there. So I'm probably going to look for probably one or two more nursing tops, like the, the tank tops. And I may, I don't know if I'll get it from the maternity store, but I'm going to look for some yoga pants to uh, be comfortable those first few weeks at home. Um, probably a, a size bigger than I normally would get, like a medium. I think I usually get medium, so I'll probably get like one medium and then two or three larges um, if I can find them. And then I also would like to look for like two or three cardigans that um, don't button up, but kind of just like you throw on so that I can have my nursing tank on and then the cardigan and it's just easier for me to feed the baby and they're just easier to lounge around in it's like I, I continuously think about all this stuff over and over and it's just once I it's here it's gonna be like whoa we waited and waited and waited and now it's like here and I'm so excited and at the same time I'm getting more and more nervous I told Adam we just got back from a walk I told him I was like I want to every night it's not too too cool I want to just be taking walks and even if it's cool I want to be taking walks as much as we can because the more that I walk the easier labor will be I know it's not going to be easy by all means but the more active you are the easier it is to go through labor is what they say so hopefully that will help I'm just getting nervous because my biggest hope is that I am strong enough to go through labor naturally. That's my hope and my goal, and I'm gonna try so, so hard. I know that I don't have a great pain tolerance, which is my fear. So, I, Adam is gonna be a super great support system, 
and if I have to give, I know that I have to. If I need medicine to get through it for my baby to be strong, I will do that, but my goal is to take any and every measure not to have to. Um, so they have a birth, not a birthing tub, but a labor tub that I'll be using if I can, um, and a, a birthing, the birthing balls I'll be using to kind of like help her shift down faster <laughs> and walking, walking, walking. And then Adam will be my massage person. He said he will help me um, as much as he can. So fingers crossed that I can be strong enough to do it. Give me prayers and hope and whatever you can to help me get through labor as naturally as I possibly can. But we are going to rent a movie, I think. Do you want to rent the movie? Huh? Do you want to rent the movie? Sure. That's what you want to do? Is that what you want to do? Sounds good to me, baby. Okay. We're going to rent Now You See Me 2 because we really liked the first one. The first one was really good. It was really good. So hopefully this one is pretty good too. The trailers made it look awesome. Yeah, well lately trailers have been deceiving. This is true. So hopefully it's good. We'll let them know. We will let you know, yeah. Because what did we watch a couple weeks ago that wasn't as, definitely wasn't as good as the first? The boss? With Gerard Butler. Um, White House? No. London Has Fallen? London Has Fallen. Well, we I thought you that. meant what we watched the other night, The Boss. The Boss. That wasn't... Oh, that and The Boss good. wasn't that great with Milton McCarthy. It was, McCarthy. it had a, it had a good meaning behind it. Yeah. But, which I'm not going to tell you the meaning. That's what we plugged into. Yeah. You want to, you want to find out the meaning. You'll have to go see it. Yeah. Or rent the it. The boss wasn't that great, but, um, no. What was the original one? Olympus? Olympus, Olympus Has, has fallen. fallen was really good, and we loved that movie. But London Has Fallen basically had the same storyline. and just it, in London. Just in London, and it wasn't that great, so. Hopefully this one's good, and we'll let you know. Want to come end the vlog with me? Yeah, I'll end it. Bye. Just kidding. I gotta, I gotta learn your catchphrase. I still, I can't remember it for some reason. My catchphrase. Yeah, you're like hit the thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But I'm not there yet. Oh, I just well. wanted to say that we, this is gonna be a one take vlog. Cause we, a one take vlog? Like we didn't vlog today, so we're just. I thought we vlogged earlier. No. No, we brought it with us, but yeah. we forgot. Yeah. So Sorry. we're just gonna relax and watch a movie. Hit that thumbs up. What she said. Thumbs up, hit it, you like it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That was pretty cute. I just kind of cut it down to the wire so I don't want to order a dress and then it be like not come in. Um, and I was going to wear one of my maxi skirts, but.